Welcome to Textonation. Joining us is Jeff Ray, Executive Director of Business and Technology at a company called Omron. O M R O N. Thank you for joining us, Jeff. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You're showing some great new technology, health related technology, at the Consumer Electronics Show, which is virtual this year. Give us a, a little overview about what you call Vital Sight. Yes, for the first time, Omron is introducing our very first remote patient monitoring service. Now, for the last 40 years, uh, people may have known Omron as the leader in blood pressure monitor devices. Uh, but what we're showing is actually something very different. It's actually a service that allows us to transmit data from uh, readings that people have taken in their home directly to their doctor. So usually people are used to writing down their blood pressure readings on a piece of paper and bringing it into their physician. Um, now we don't have to do that. Um, when you take a reading at home, that data can be securely transmitted directly to your physician. And this enables a better patient to physician communication. So your doctor knows exactly what's going on inside the home when it comes to your blood pressure. So this consists of hardware, which is typically covered by insurance? So blood pressure monitors today are not covered by insurance. Um, so most people go out there, their doctor tells them that they should be purchasing a blood pressure monitor. They go out there to their nearest pharmacy store or online, they purchase a blood pressure monitor at home and they start using it and they write down their numbers. Completely different. On the Vital Site program, when your doctor enrolls you in this program, we actually send the kit directly to your home at no or little cost to the patient themselves. Um, and that kit already knows who you are and who your doctor is, and then can securely, uh, meeting all the HIPAA standards and often exceeding HIPAA standards, transmit that data directly to your physician at the hospital. Um, and uh, this is for the first time ever, the vital site service is reimbursed by Medicare. So the, the hardware the patient would pay for, or how did no, it's, it's, a, it's all part of the service? Yep, if your doctor enrolls you in the vital site uh, program, the kit shows up at your door and there's really nothing that you have to purchase yourself. And again, who typically would this be prescribed for? So there's about 116 million hypertensive patients out there, um, and we want them all to be measuring their blood pressure. But specifically, this is designed for the 37 million people out there in the U.S. that are diagnosed stage two uncontrolled hypertensives. These are people with high blood pressure that even though their doctor knows they're hypertensive, have not been able to get that blood pressure under control, which puts them at extreme risk for having an event. So these are the people we want to make sure that that data is getting to their doctor in real time. And we actually help their doctor sift through all the data and understand when a patient exceeds the thresholds that they set for every patient. If you exceed it, then it goes to the doctor or the clinical staff, and then they can review it and either follow up with the patient or set an appointment for you to come in earlier, even though your appointment may not be for weeks or months. If something doesn't look right, they can take action and get you in immediately. You, you as the patient just have to be diligent about, uh, about the monitoring, about the... Absolutely. And if you decide, we can even help you with that. We can help you set reminders. We can follow, do follow-up calls with you. Um, because if we set the, the um, kit to you and it's not being utilized, then it's not exploring the full value of what is being sent to your doctor. So we can actually help you on follow-ups, whether it's text, email, phone calls, and make sure that you are re remembering to take your blood pressure and transmit it to your doctor. There's nothing you have to do other than put the cuff on, the start button, 30 seconds. We'd like people to do it once a day, but even if you do it a couple times a week, it's 30 seconds out of your day, and that data gets to your doctor, and it's extremely important that he knows what's going on inside your house when it comes to your heart health. It sounds like it could be a, a really valuable tool in this new world of telemedicine as well. Absolutely. So telemedicine is really those visits where um, through your computer or even through phone calls where you're interacting with your doctor. Um, but behind that visit, there has to be the data. The doctor has to understand what's actually going on in your home. So really, remote patient monitoring is the data that feeds those telemedicine visits to make them the most valuable. If he can look at your chart, he or she looks at your chart and sees all the data and says, oh, you know what, your blood pressure keeps going up every week despite the medication, 
during that telemedicine visit, they can explore other options on how to improve the treatment program. Really, really interesting, Jeff. So tell us how people can get more information about this. Well, they can uh, visit our website at omronhealthcare.com slash vital site. Um, they can interact with us on Twitter and Facebook. Um, but if they're really interested in getting more information, they can also have a conversation with their physician and ask about how they can be enrolled in the vital site program. Uh, we've launched with some very forward thinking uh, hospital organizations in the US, places like Mount Sinai in New York, Northwestern Hospital in, or Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, um, and a lot of leading uh, independent physicians in the US. Uh, but we're rolling out uh, our launch here is at CES and we're rolling out across the US. So if they're interested, have that conversation with their physician on participating in it. They can contact Omron and we can make it very seamless to set up for, for any physician who's interested. Is it a hub that connects to the internet and these devices in the home connect to the hub? Yep, so there's actually a hub. Um, we kind of explain it to people that there is no Wi-Fi or separate cellular connection that anybody needs. That's what a lot of people are worried about. Am I gonna get this kit and have to pair it to my Wi-Fi or am I gonna have to pay for uh, a new uh, cellular device? Everything's covered by Amron. We send it to you. Um, everything, all the devices that are on the program connect to this one hub. It's sent, secu it's sent securely. Uh, HIPAA standards only require 128-bit encryption of sending health data. Uh, we actually go way above and beyond that. We send it at 512 kilobit encryption. Um, and so we want to make sure that people trust that their health data is being protected. Um, so yeah, and there's nothing that anybody has to pay. Omron covers all the cost of that cellular connection. And it's, it's a different signal than what you would find in a typical cell phone. So even though you maybe live in a rural area and you don't get... Uh, AT&T or Verizon, uh, we actually use something called uh, LTEM. Um, because we're not sending video or voice, um, it actually operates on a different wavelength. So it has a much stronger reach than uh, a cell phone would. Um, so we're able to help those people that maybe aren't near a hospital that live in rural areas, get their health data to their physician. And do the patients have access uh, as the blood pressure is taken to what the numbers are or the scale? Yep. So we look at data as being the patient's data. It's not Omron's data. Um, so you have full rights of what gets shared. I want this shared with my doctor. I don't want that shared. Um, if they want to just view their own data, we have a dashboard that they can log into and see their own data. Uh, we have a mobile application. If they uh, want to use the phone and look at it on a phone, they can also download the app and see the data in the app. So there's lots of ways that we want to make sure that patients are engaging with their own data because we do feel that knowledge is power. And if you understand what's going on with you, you're more inclined to stay engaged on it. It's kind of like if you're trying to lose weight, but you're never stepping on a scale, you don't know how you're doing. So we want people to know how their blood pressure is doing because you really can't feel blood pressure. So by looking at the numbers, having those conversations with your physicians who have your data, we hope that this can lead to a much better result as far as outcomes when it comes to treating hypertension. Sounds like terrific use of technology. For more information, again, look for Vital Sight by Omron, O-M-R-O-N. Jeff Ray, thank you for taking the time with us. Thank you for having me. Cooking with the power of the song. Hi, I'm Fred Fishkin, here to tell you about the latest innovation from my friend Patrick Sherwin and his great team at Gosun Stove. The Gosun Fusion has arrived using the company's tried-and-true reflectors and a solar vacuum tube to get you cooking without the mess of charcoal, heavy propane tanks, or smoke. A really bright idea. And with an optional solar panel and battery storage and the ability to plug in at home or on the road, you really can use the Gosun Fusion to cook anytime and anywhere, day or night, rain or shine. I love what Patrick and his team are doing, and so will you. Want to learn more? Head to gosun.co to check out all of the company's products and innovations, and use the code TEXTANATION to save 10%. That's gosun.co.